Hey guys, what's up? Pablo back with another video, and today we're going to be looking over my UI. A lot of people have been asking, you know, how it looks. I did a video you know, years ago explaining how I set it up, but uh, it's a little bit out of date. I guess I should say the, the add-ons I'm using are pretty much the same, although I'm using them slightly differently now. Um, so let's go over each of those add-ons and weak words I'm using and how you guys can get that for yourself if you so choose. All right, let's get started. Okay, so to start off this video, I'm going to kind of go over like each of my add-ons that I'm using and kind of like talk about them one by one. A lot of them are just like, you just kind of download them and you're good to go. Others, there, there is some configuration. So the first one and definitely the most important as far as what I do is weak auras. So I have weak auras for just about everything I can think of. Um, I don't know if I, I, I like it. I, I, I like being able to control a lot of stuff and weak auras is great for that. So as you can see here at, this, at the front and center of my UI is this kind of like Shadow Priest tracker uh, to track everything you would need playing a Shadow Priest right now. Um, this is for the, for the most part what it's going to be going into Shadowlands. Um, I have, you know, my main cooldowns up here, tracks your dots, talents, all that great stuff. Uh, there's a nice insanity bar in the middle here. I'm probably going to tweak this at some point. Someone suggested I add kind of a, a, of like how much insanity I'll have at the end of a cast. So I'll add that at some point, but this will always be updated. Um, and I'll have a link to all my weak words in the description you can, so you can check that out. But as you can see here, there's... I actually don't even have, have them all imported yet because I have so many. I'm still working on a, launch, a bunch of them. But So here are the Shadow ones that has everything you need for Shadowlands as well. So if you want to use this um, for Shadowlands, it should be already set to go. So we do have you know the Covenant abilities, Legendaries will be in here, all that great stuff. Um, and as they add more things to the game, this will constantly be updated. So the Wago link will be updated with versions and all that good stuff when I change things. And you know the beauty of this is that since I like this so much and I do play... I don't play every class and spec like equally, but I do like to kind of dabble in different specs and stuff like that. I didn't like to have to change my UI every time I swap specs. Um, so naturally, I just, you know, devoted hours and hours of my time. Uh, and I have, I actually have a week or a set for every spec and class in the game. I don't have them all loaded on live yet, but they are all uploaded. So you can see, you know, you know here are my Blood Death Knight ones. I got Beast Mastery here, all that kind of stuff, right? So if you like this, like, setup and you just want to copy and paste it to other characters, I do have, like, a week worth uh, package for every class and spec that you can download and install. You know, move it around, do whatever you want with it. But if you do kind of like that space of it, it is all the same and right there. So now a couple of the things I will mention that I do have, and again, I'll try and put links to all these in the description, but they should be linked uh, all on the Wago profile. Um, I also use a weak aura for my cast bar. This is very, very simple. A lot of people, you know, maybe have giant cast bars. If you like having something more intricate, I suggest using like Gnosis or something like that. Um, I've been using a weak aura. This is a very, very simple one um, for years now, and it does the trick. It doesn't show ticks of Mind Flayer or anything, but again, that's not super, super important. Um, I do use like groups to track trinkets and stuff, although obviously that's not going to be relevant depending on when you're looking. So just check out my profile and I'll always upload these when I use them. And then I have a few other ones that I kind of just use here and there. This one's very helpful. This is like a current setup thing I use for streaming that just shows my talents down here in a little bit of a week or so. That's something. And then I also have another one down here to show my, my current FPS and like my repair and my loot spec and stuff. Again, all kind of fluff, all, all whatever you want it to be, but these are easy enough to download and import um, if that's what you want. So that is all my stuff regarding weak ores. All right, guys. So next up, the next big add-on. This one, I guess I would put it like second most important, or it, it's up there, is shadowed unit frame. So, you know, this is actually more of just a preference thing than anything. You, I, I really don't need this. If you've seen any of my beta footage, I'm not even playing with it. It's fine. It's I like that it's just, it's just got more options than what the default UI has. So... You know, take that for you want. So this is my, you know, I have my player frame right here. I have my target frame here um, and all that great stuff as well. So this also supports uh, different things like parties and all that great stuff. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, it has a full raid frame in here as well. They did recently, I don't actually know when they did this, but they did add like an actual, an export. So I do have an export string if you'd like to use that. So you can see I actually track boss frames over here to the right hand side, focus over here and then party. Um, so all this thing is all set up. The party does swap to a, a raid frame once you get enough people in the party. Um, otherwise, it sticks to just the uh, the, the four-man setup here. Um, so this is shadow unit frames. Again, it's not that crazy. It's somewhat helpful if you want to track specific buffs or debuffs. Um, I mean, for the most part, the boss frame is what I think is the most uh, the largest improvement over the base UI. That's very, very important, especially as a multi-dotting class, as a shadow priest. Having like a good dot tracking for this is very, very important. For the most part, it's only tracking the important stuff, not everything. I have a little bit of filters here and there to make that happen, but for the most part, it's pretty much the setup as default, and that is have things placed where I like them. 
Um, but that's shadow unit frames, nothing too crazy there. The other kind of, I guess, like top add-on that I that I use and more or less need at this point is Plater. So Plater is the uh, these kind of frames that you see above targets or enemy nameplates and stuff. And this is kind of like the bread and butter if you're a dot class. Having good nameplates like this is crucial. Um, you can see here, you know, if, if you're tracking, you know, hey, I have Vampiric Touch, Shadow Red Paint up on this target. I also have it up on this target. You know, having a good, like, line of sight view to your dots on these specific targets is very, very important. Um, especially now that we have to refresh dots a bit more often with the new Shadow Priest. So, Plater out of the box gives you this. Like, I've done very little to Plater. Um, if you want something more kind of in-depth, I know Jarv has a lot of great stuff in the Shadow Priest Discord. You can check that out. Um, I do have my profile linked. It is mostly default. Like, there's really nothing I've changed about it. The only thing that I do uh, kind of enable, it is there in default. Um, I don't know exactly where it is. There's, like, a plugin for it. Um, maybe it's under modding or something. Yeah. So there's a mod already in here for execute range. So I went ahead and enabled that. So all that does is it changes any mod that's below 20% health, uh, their nameplate color to green. That way you can easily, you know, kind of pick out, hey, this mod was in within Shadow or Death range, all that good stuff. Um, so pretty much it's default besides that. So if you want that kind of vanilla setup with that, you really can just download the add-on and, and you're good to go. Um, otherwise, I'll, I'll leave that for you guys to check out. Um, next up we have Domino's. So a lot of people, um, do use bartender instead. This is the thing that's actually moving my, uh, actual action bars around. So I have a pretty simple setup. I just put one above my damage meter, one over here, and then these two kind of in the middle with shadow form getting its own little bar right here. Uh, Domino's is very, very simple. It doesn't do a whole lot and that's on purpose. Very easy for the author to maintain. He gets updates out very, very quickly. It's almost always working all the time, which is why I like it. I don't like logging in and suddenly my UI breaks, um, which I know can happen with like LVUI and Bartender or some other add-ons, depending on how quickly they get stuff in. It's just, you know, the trade-off is Domino's doesn't have as many features. One of which I can't actually export this for you guys. Um, at least I don't know how. I will link a full copy of my interface in WTF folder if you guys do want to just vanilla port this guy in. Otherwise, it's pretty simple to set up. You just move your bars where you'd like them. Nothing too complicated here, nothing too crazy. I, I have everything pretty much uh, set as default after that. Um, and that is Domino's. And then if we go ahead and move on here, the next add-on, the, the rest of my add-ons are for the most part, you just kind of install it and you're good to go. Or, you know, this is just kind of up to you and what you want out of your UI. Again, this is your UI. Put things where you're going to see them so that you can easily pick up information quickly. Uh, so the next one I want to talk about is Xsource's Raid Tools. This is a fantastic add-on, especially if you're a raider um, or, or honestly you do any PvE content. This is a great add-on to have, not only as like a raid leader or as an officer like myself, but just in general, working through a raid team, this add-on is going to really, really help you out. Now, one of the things that was added, you know, I don't actually know when they added this, but kind of in this world that we currently live in, like knowing when your target's going to die, how long you've been in combat for, these are both very, very valuable timers as a Shadow Priest. Now that we have to time our cooldowns a little bit, Excuse me. And also, Surrender to Madness is a big thing, right? So if you don't know, uh, Surrender to Madness puts a debuff on the target. You want that target to die within 25 seconds after casting that. So there's this thing called a Time to Death Tracker. So what that's doing is, if you can see, I'll go ahead and start combat here. Um, I have a little, I have a timer over here. It actually has two things in it. The, the top number is how long I've been in combat for. And then the second number down here is this time to die tracker. So with this current estimate of like the damage pattern going against this target, it's saying like, hey, this mom is probably going to die within uh, 25 seconds now, right? And this is basically your bread and butter for Surrender to Madness to basically get a kind of a, a gut reaction to like, hey, is Surrender safe to use now? Um, now, of course, it can't predict things like uh, a monk touch of death coming in or, you know, execute damage ramp up. So it is just a guess. Um, and again, you do got to be careful because of some mobs just don't die. Like if I used surrender right here on the training dummy, obviously I would die because you can't kill a training dummy. So make sure you keep that in mind. But that, that default timer setup is very, very helpful. All you got to go do is go to this timer section. And these are the settings I'm using for my combat bar. Nothing very crazy here. Uh, that you can you can lower this analyze second if you want something a bit more precise. I don't need anything that crazy. This is fine for me. Um, I do use type two. I just prefer that design wise. But otherwise, you know, you do whatever you want with this. This is very like you have a lot of settings here to control, and time to die is pretty important. So definitely suggest you guys check that guy out. This is very 
quick, easy, set it, forget it. It does a lot of things. Oh, I also use it. I forgot. I, I have a battle res tracker right here as well for mostly Mythic Plus usage. It does come in handy in raids every now and then to see it, but that's what uh, it has this battle res timer here as well. Okay, so going down the list, uh, next up we have details. Again, very straightforward. Details kind of had a, like a settings reset or whatever coming into Shadowlands, so I haven't tweaked this super heavily, but if you do kind of want this basic setup that I have, I did link that for you guys. It's very simple, very, very, deep, very, you know, nothing crazy. It's just damage and healing. Sometimes when I'm streaming, uh, I will change healing to my spells instead. But again, you do whatever you want there. I haven't really done a whole lot of this. Okay, and then I do use sexy map. This is just a very simple add-on right here to track my mini map. You know, I, I don't really need this. It's just, it's a little bit different and it lets me fit a bit more icons from all my add-ons on here. So, you know, use this if you like, but that is what that add-on is. Um, outside of that, another kind of quick hit stuff. I use deadly boss mods instead of big wigs. I don't have anything crazy here to show. Um, there's not a whole lot to configure with this. I will say, you know, as a raider specifically, make sure that you have, I think they're called alerts uh, somewhere in here. Yeah, if I click this move me, you can see these guys. Make sure you have your alerts in a good spot. Um, there are a couple different bars that you want to that you want to kind of position correctly. Just make sure they're in a spot where you're going to notice them. This is personally where I have them. I have like a kind of a stack right up here above my my raid party frames, and then I have like the the things about to happen that are happen that are right here. So just make sure you have those in a good spot, and you'll be all set. Uh, next up, a couple of small stuff. I use Addy bags for my bag add-on. It's again, I download it, set it, and forget it. This is pretty good to go. Do whatever you want here. Um, you know, other than using default bags, it's not, it's just a bag on it. It's whatever you want. Um, and then the, the one thing that you guys might be interested in, this actually always really annoys me whenever I was streaming, especially, um, by default, uh, the tool tip, if you can see if I'm hovering over something, this actual tool tip above my, uh, my target frames and stuff or above details now is actually like right where I don't want it, where my damage meters are, which is really, really annoying. So what I've done is I've actually installed an add on called move anything and you can actually move that tooltip itself. Um, so it, it, again, that's really the only reason I'm using this add-on. I'd say be a little careful with it because it is pretty involved. Um, so if there's ever anything that like, like a new expansion or a new patch, it can break pretty easily just because of how crazy it is. Um, I don't think I can export this. If I can, I'll leave it a link in the description, but otherwise uh, that's what I do to uh, move that tooltip. And guys, the last thing I use, in case you're curious, this is Deja character stats to get the stats of my character. Uh, pretty simple add-on. This gives you a bit more information than default UI, which is why I like it, but otherwise it is uh, pretty generic, all right? Okay, so that is it for my rambling. That's it for my UI. Again, I'll have links to everything in the description below. Generally speaking, if you're looking for something, it's going to be on the Wago page. It's probably a weak aura. Um, but if there's something I'm missing or if you're seeing something on my screen, either here or in streams that's missing, feel free to leave a comment on this video. Send me a message, and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. All right, guys. That is it for this video. A big, Again, big thanks to all the patrons that are supporting me. It's been a crazy amount of support. I know I haven't been making that many videos lately. I've just been honestly just covered down in my sim hole and just simming all the time about everything coming into Shadowlands. So... Been very, very busy, um, but again, big thanks to those people supporting me. It allows me to do all this crazy stuff for you guys, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. And then, again, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.